mastering A and and perfect your English grammar. Hello, English learners. Welcome to another exciting session where we unravel the mysteries of the English language together. Today, we're focusing on a very important part of English grammar. The usage of indefinite articles, a, and, n. This video is all about understanding their correct usage and practicing through error correction exercises. Before we dive into the exercises, let's quickly refresh our knowledge. The indefinite articles, a, and, n, are used when we're talking about a non-specific thing or person. A is used before words that begin with a consonant sound, while N is used before words that begin with a vowel sound. Now that we've jogged our memory about the basic rule, let's look at some sentences with mistakes in the usage of A and N. Our goal here is to identify the errors and correct them. Example, I have an apple. Here, the word apple starts with a vowel sound, so we should use N instead of A. The correct sentence is, I have an apple. Now that we know how to spot and correct errors with A and N, it's your turn to practice. I will read out sentences with errors, and your task is to correct these sentences. 1. She is a European. 2. He is an honest man. 3. I saw eagle in the sky. 4. She is reading an interesting book. 5. I have an important meeting tomorrow. Pause the video here and try to correct these sentences. Once you're done, resume the video and we'll go over the answers. Let's discuss the correct answers. 1. She is a European. Should be, she is an European. 2. He is an honest man. Should be, he is an honest man. 3. I saw eagle in the sky. Should be, I saw an eagle in the sky. 4. She is reading an interesting book. Should be, she is reading an interesting book. 5. I have an important meeting tomorrow. Should be, I have an important meeting tomorrow. Did you get them all correct? If not, don't worry. Keep practicing, and you'll master the use of A and N in no time. Great job today! You're well on your way to mastering the use of indefinite articles in English. Remember, the key to learning is consistent practice. Keep practicing these exercises and soon you'll be using A and N flawlessly. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Keep learning!